Eh bien, bonjour à toutes et à tous et bienvenue sur la chaîne Pierre Bien-être et Spiritualité. Je suis euh, honoré aujourd'hui de vous présenter euh, une nouvelle interview avec Leslie. Euh, ce sera une interview en anglais puisque Leslie habite en Slovaquie and, euh, et il parle peu français. Donc, euh, vous aurez la traduction euh, sous la vidéo, donc pas d'inquiétude. Et nous allons parler aujourd'hui de l'appareil de chromothérapie, notamment du lit de cristal. Donc voilà, il va nous expliquer tout ça dans un instant. So, hello Leslie. <laughs> Welcome. Hello Pierre. Bonjour. Hello Happy everyone. Nice to meet you. Yes. And it's a pleasure to see you again. Uh, because I bought uh, the crystal bed in 2019. So I can say that uh, I'm the first ambassador <laughs> in France to talk uh, about the, your crystal bed. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and also the first uh, who have won. And uh, it's a, a pleasure to, to, to prepare this interview with you to present your activities and the, um, the benefits of the crystal bed, for example, and the other's uh, instruments. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me, and uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you again. And I um, hope uh, lots of people will feel the benefits of the crystals mm -hmm. and of the crystal bed uh, in France as well. Yes. It Because we, we can say that in the world, we have different crystal beds, but your crystal bed is in a, it's a wood crystal bed. And um, in, in the world, we can find uh, mostly uh, the metal crystal bed. And it's very different for me. Yes. Uh... I think the first crystal bed uh, was made in uh, in Brazil and mm -hmm. um, it was from metal and uh, when I first met the crystal bed it was uh, 2014 mm -hmm. uh, it was in a spiritual castle in uh, um, eastern Germany and in a little village and I went there as a volunteer uh, to practice meditation and yoga and at that time I had a really hard time in my life because uh, I was burned out uh, and um, <clears throat> I just got back in the track at that time and when I first see this thing it was very kind of interesting and some kind of weird thing to me some lamp and some crystals uh, coming out from it but when I tried it I just got fascinated because uh, I felt uh, tingling all over my uh, chest and belly and mm -hmm. I, I felt my chakras uh, like starting to to work mm -hmm. and I I had the feeling with the crystal bed that it's a very nice thing and, and the crystals are like uh, living beings and, and this one needs to be in, in, in a bit better form mm -hmm. than this metal kind of... Uh, I had the feeling it, it it's like um, um, it's like a machine from from a hospital, you know. Yeah. And uh, then when I returned back home from uh, Eastern Germany, I had some friend who was uh, technically more uh, clever than me, and we spoke about this, and he had some idea to make it uh, from the wood. Mm -hmm. And we did it. So we did the first machine. It was uh, not so good aesthetically mm -hmm. like this one. Um, but then the second one uh, was really nice. And uh, we felt this is a good form for these crystals to have them um, in a wood form. And I also studied uh, these crystals because these crystals built in Uh, the crystal beds are Vogel crystals, which were made by Martel Vogel. Uh, they were discovered by this scientist who worked for the IBM group. Mm. And he discovered that, that our uh, 
thought as an information um, can be stored in the crystal because when we inhale it's uh, having a negative charge and when we exhale it's having a positive charge mm. and during this process every information which is inside us generated by our feelings and our thoughts uh, is going out and mm. if we hold a crystal it's stored in these crystals and um, I learned a lot of uh, about about this and studied and searched in the internet because uh, I felt crystal beds are a really great tool, but I didn't know actually what it does, what's the process, what's the science behind, and it's really important for me to understand. Mm. And it's very different for each person. Each experience is very different. And uh, yes, uh, it's. Uh, It's 2021 20, today, and uh, it's now since seven years, since uh, 2014, I'm preparing crystal beds, and, and literally thousands of people have tried it. And there are some similar experiences, but uh, till now, I receive emails and phone calls of people who say, mm. I had these experiences, and I never heard about that experience before. Mm. Um, so yes, it's, it's really different in every kind of person. Okay, well, good. So the first question um, that I have for you, it's uh, just, can you quickly introduce yourself and tell us um, a bit about your spiritual development until uh, today? Yes, okay, oh, <laughs> good question. Thank you. So, uh, my name is Leslie Betty. I was born in Slovakia in uh, 1989, and uh, I was not spiritual from the start. So, I was a really uh, practical, rational, and materialistic uh, uh, guy or man. Mm. And uh, about When I was about 23 years old, I went to a self-development. Um, it was a seminar of self-development, and um, the speaker was uh, a guy who was somebody very successful in business, mm -hmm. and um, he got uh, uh, he got in a spiritual way, and uh, and, and he also transformed very spiritually. And in this time, I was very material and, and rational, just in my head, just in the mind. And uh, before the whole seminar started, he said, not all the information will uh, pass from me to you through words, but in different energetical levels, it will pass. Mm -hmm. and, and this was something so weird to me this was something so <laughs> strange uh, <laughs> strange and it was so far from me and i said oh jesus okay i don't care i paid for this <laughs> i don't care how it's going to be transferred this information it should be transferred <laughs> and um, at this uh, seminar something very interesting uh, happened because i started to see uh, the speaker's aura started to see something uh, like yellow or goldy it was it was very very interesting for me i was uh, i was scratching my eyes and i thought i was okay. having something wrong with my eyes but no i was i was seeing it uh, until the end of the seminar and when i returned from this seminar i spoke to one of my friends who i know He's into the spiritual things, mm -hmm. and uh, he let me. He brought me a book about the auras, and okay. that's how it all started. Then I started to, to learn about more about meditation, a uh, little bit about chakras. But I was still in in in, in the business uh, uh, life and in the corporation life, mm. the corporate life, and. Uh, I think yeah, three years later, I had this uh, burnout when I uh, forced myself 
to go on a volunteer trip and just to meditate and do yoga. And that was mm. the point where I find the crystal bed in uh, Eastern Germany. Okay. So it's, dur it's during the uh, travel that you have the idea to create um, something about the crystal bed? So uh, when I came back, uh, I knew I finished with my old life, mm -hmm. with my old life, and uh, I just left it. And the crystal bed was fascinating me, and I wanted to create something which is very close to me, which I know it's good for people, which I know it's, it's something uh, coming from the soul, coming from the heart. Mm. And uh, I didn't want to create something just for business and just to rush, rush, rush. Yeah. And so I started out. I, I, I don't know how, but because I don't have any technical talent and, and stuff like this, but there was like something inside me, a force that guided me through these uh, heavy times because we have a lot of difficulties when we were developing the crystal bed. And somehow in every uh, week or every month there, come, there came a sign or, or something came or something happened that drive me through these hard times when the crystal bed got born and, and found the people who really uh, wanted this thing and, and could help to other people with it. So it's a, it's a really miraculous journey until today, I would say. Mm. And uh, is it for you uh, like a new technology for the future? Um... I think, I think uh, this is something which, is, uh, which comes from the ancient times and we yeah. use it with the modern technology because mm -hmm. we use LED lights, which is the part of modern technology. Uh, what I would say the same as Marcel Vogel did in the 80s, he said when he discovered uh, the properties of Vogel crystal, he said it's a backbone of the future uh, mm. technology. And I think the crystal bed is also just a little scratch of the future technology, what we can do with crystals. And if uh, really the science... Uh, will uh, discover the properties of the crystal and what, what uh, are we able to do with it, mm. I think there will be much more, uh, more interesting things coming out to the surface. Mm. Okay. And um, so now, uh, could you please uh, remind us uh, what uh, is your job, your position in the Czech, at Czech company? Yes, uh, I'm the founder of the Chakris company and uh, my position is uh, uh, <laughs> I'm doing lots of things because uh, I'm not doing the bats actually, but uh, I'm doing lots of things and uh, mainly I'm in contact with the clients and mm -hmm. um, contact between the production. And uh, until today, I also have some new ideas with the uh, Vogel crystals because I'm, I'm, I'm a really big fan of Martin Vogel and what he created of Vogel crystals and um, um, trying to, to do different combinations of the light and the Vogel crystals because um, these Vogel crystals, what they do, they have two endings. One is the female end and what is the male end. Mm. The female end is like the pyramids of uh, Egypt. So they got 52 uh, degree angle yeah. and they suck the energy inside. And on the female, on the, sorry, on the male side, which is a projecting angle, which is 60 degrees, it's uh, projecting this energy. And when we light through these crystals, um, the light comes in in the female side and leaves on the male side and it transports this vibration which is in the crystal mm. and if you check the molecular structure of a crystal is the same as um, as the creation of the flower of the life which is a very uh, 
powerful symbol and that's why Nikola Tesla also said mm. that the crystals are living being just we cannot understand uh, their being so mm. there are living structures and these patterns can be found everywhere in our world mm. uh, in the cells of uh, the plants animals and the humans it's all the same it's 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 the code it's the pattern of the life mm. and that's in the crystal and uh, that's why a crystal bed uh, session is so intensive and and, and you can uh, feel the sensation during the the session and you have so beautiful spiritual experiences as well mm. So you have the sacred uh, geometry inside the crystal and you have the color of the in in the crystal yes uh, exactly so i would say the one part is the color mm -hmm. and another part which is i think more intensive is the crystal therapy mm -hmm. because uh, the crystals gives uh, this power and the light is like a transportation system Mm. So it transports this vibration because if you hold your hand to a water crystal, you will feel the feel a little sensation or tingling. But if you light this crystal through and you put your hand underneath it, so you will feel it more intense. Mm. So it means this light makes it more intense. It transports the energy more intense to mm. this direct point. Colors are, are uh, also important because our chakras are mm. have their color frequency as well. Mm. So we set uh, these um, lights to the same uh, frequency of colors mm. uh, to to make the effect even more. And it's also not just the color is important, but um, the person who is lying under the crystals, uh, his thoughts and his uh, uh, his mood is very important. So that's why I suggest to the people who are trying out crystal bed sessions mm -hmm. uh, to set a powerful intent. So if I'm if I'm going to lie under the crystal bed, usually my intent is to ask for a, uh, universal guidance, mm -hmm. or in actual life situation, I'm asking for uh, for some guidance or some questions, uh, what actually bothers me or I'm actually dealing with, and this thing is very important because uh, it gives a sense to the to the whole session. And that's where the miracle happens because the people uh, will find out their blocks, uh, will find out uh, which way, which directions to go in their life mm -hmm. and many, many, many more experiences uh, which comes as a miracle. And, and mm -hmm. I think that's, that's the key to the successful uh, crystal bed session to set an intent mm -hmm. and then let it go, just relax under the light. Mm, yeah and um, what kind of products do you propose because we have the large crystal bed you have the mini crystal bed and uh, the pyramid i think pyramid crys um, crystal yes. with the vogel crystal yes uh so our main product is uh, our, all products are with vogel crystals mm. and uh, we have the crystal bed is our main product. Then we have, I will say, the mini crystal bed. It's not a crystal bed. It's a, it's a mini handheld mm. tool which has one crystal and you can set all the Come seven on. colors of the chakras and plus you have one white color. Uh, this is for, uh, for local usage. So you can work with it on the chakras as well on the meridians and the reflex uh, zones on the palm and the feet as well. Yeah. Mm. So technically it's the same thing as the crystal bed, uh, but it's worked differently. So if, if for a complex experience, I recommend the crystal bed and the mini, uh, it's a good um, accessory to the crystal bed as well. Mm. Um, then we have the pyramids. The pyramids are very interesting 
thing because uh, I had a vision with these pyramids. I read about pyramids a lot. And um, because of the vocal crystals, female side is the same uh, shape and same degree as the pyramids of Giza. Mm -hmm. And, and um, we made the pyramids also in this 52 degree angle and we put to the top vocal crystal and the lines of these pyramids are from uh, brass mm -hmm. and the bottom is uh, from wood where is a symbol of the flower of the life and usually if you put inside water it will become structuralized mm -hmm. uh, you can drink it and it will be very smooth or if you put any kind of food uh, or meal uh, that you already prepared, it will last longer fresh. Uh -huh. So we did uh, some tests where we put some bananas, apples, and some kind of stuff inside the uh -huh. pyramid and like two or three meters outside Another. of the pyramid. Right, yeah. And in a few days, uh, you can see the difference. Uh -huh. So because the, the structure of this pyramid uh, brings down the magnetic uh, power uh, which is on our earth mm -hmm. and it, it, it makes such an uh, energetic change on, on, on this food and, 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 and stuff, yes. Mm. And you have I th uh, the pendulums? <laughs> yes, uh, we made pendulums because uh, one of our clients said have you tried ever uh, to make a pendulum from a vocal crystal? And I said, oh, what a brilliant idea. Vogel crystal is very precise thing. And uh, I said, no, I haven't tried, but you give me an idea. So in a couple of days, I went uh, to, to my um, technician and I said to him, we should do something. Uh, uh, that's a pendulum from Volvo Crystal and we, we, we did it and when I tried it it's very intensive and very uh, strongly showing yes or no and so you can very uh, you can work with it very easily mm. it's also made uh, from Volvo Crystal and, and uh, brass mm. okay so in a general way uh, for you, uh, what is the goal of the crystal therapy? <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> good question. <coughs> I think I haven't, I haven't choose it. <laughs> it right. just, it just came in my way, or, or maybe I choose it uh, uh, before I was born. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, it's really interesting until now because I just, it's just like uh, it just happened to me and uh, i'm still in it and what keeps me driving uh, in crystal bed uh, when i have harder days or, or, or harder weeks harder times in my life and when people come back and say about their experiences mm -hmm. uh, that's that's some kind of so good feeling that i say Oh, it's it's worth to do it. It's 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 a good thing to do it, and uh, I just need to keep on doing it. Mm. So I think that's my 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 goal, and uh, that's what keeps me driving on. I do not have some specific goal with this, uh, <clears throat> but to make uh, more and more experiences for people, and to find out uh, their spiritual uh, track and 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 the best version of the, their self and if they have one chance to try the crystal bed and in that experience is something happened which makes their life a little bit better then my goal and my dream is is in on the right track <laughs> yeah great and um i think you have you are the the only one in slovakia and perhaps in europe to create this kind of uh, product um, which uh, use the, ge the sacred uh, geometry, the lights and colors? Uh, I, think, I think there are some similar uh, kind of products uh, in Europe. Uh, 
and also mm-hmm. in the world. And uh, uh, I think it's okay because everybody has their own way and mm. uh, their own discovery. Um, uh, but you have uh, different programs, and we 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 uh, we can't find these programs, for example, with the metal crystal bed. Yes, uh, that's very important because we installed more programs because we found out that the crystal bed is a very intensive thing. Mm. And maybe for you and me, a first session on the on the strongest program, which all the lights are on, mm. it's it's okay and we feel great. But for somebody with uh, different uh, uh, body type, different uh, energy level, it could be very, very strong and intensive. So that's why it's it's good to to set the right program and also to start with a lower intense program and then to to give more stronger and stronger programs. Mm. So it's a little bit like an experiment uh, and, yeah. and that's why we put nine programs in, in the crystal bed to to have the option to select the mm. most uh, um. <laughs> I have the user guide with the different programs. <laughs> It's very interesting because uh, you can choose uh, to begin. I, I think it's better to use the, um, the number five, I think, uh, when the lights turn on different interval for 45 minutes to begin. And after we can uh, choose a, um, a more intensive program uh, like uh, just choose the one color for example so you can uh, speak about the different program do you have uh, that you have uh, uh, with uh, the crystal bell yes um, program number five is uh, when, the, when the lights are randomly switching on and off it's one of the lightest program and uh, I recommend uh, often to start with this program or with program number four, which is one of my favorite mm. programs. I call it Kundalini program because it starts from the root chakra light and goes up like a wave to the crown chakra. Mm. So it lights uh, all the uh, chakra lights uh, one by one for a few seconds mm. and it does it for 30 minutes. It's a really good program for meditation or even for guided meditation. Uh, I usually start with this program uh, with new people who are trying out the crystal bed the first time. Mm. And then you have like a medium program, which is number three. It's uh, it's doing um, mm. three minutes to all the, ch- uh, all the chakras one by one from the root chakra. And at the end, it shines uh, nine minutes. Mm all the chakras and then you have an individual program which is program number two you can set only one chakra light for 30 minutes mm. and uh, you can focus on in, in any chakra i usually use this uh, program when i run program number one which is uh, mm. the strongest program in which lights to all the chakras i find a place in the room where i can monitor the session in a 45 degree angle and you can see uh, usually one or two uh, crystal lights are more shinier i like having a a bulb around them Um, and that means that are working on that chakra more intensively so in this case i usually use after the first program the second program which I, i give an extra session with one or two lights to that direct chakra uh, over which the light was shining more uh, intensively. Yeah, uh, and these are the basics program. And then we have uh, another four programs which are basically the same, just in 45 minutes. So yeah. that's how the nine programs are created. And uh, for users, um, how many times uh, by week? Do you uh, recommend it? I recommend um, I recommend to do it so that uh, 
you have always at least one day off. Uh, that's about three or four times a week mm -hmm. or two times a week. Uh, I recommend to do 12 sessions. It's like if you do three uh, sessions a week, then it's four weeks. You In four weeks, you do 12 sessions. Then you will have a week off without sessions. And then you can do another 12 sessions. And you can monitor yourself that what's happening to you. How is your energy level? How are you feeling? What are your thoughts? What change in your life? And But there are plenty of experiences and plenty of changes by people. Um, but it's good to do it like, like a 12 sessions uh, per month and then a little bit off. And then you have... Uh, like your own feedback, your own monitor, you are your own guide, you can see what happens, what changes. Mm. And for users, do you recommend uh, um, to practice in the morning or in the evening, for example? Um, are there differences? Mm. Yes, there are very different uh, experiences using it uh, during morning, during the daytime or during the evening. And it's very up to the individual. Someone says uh, he cannot use it in the evening because he feels more charged up and it's harder to fall asleep. Mm. Uh, somebody feels uh, the opposite. Somebody feels that in the morning... Uh, he's so relaxed, relaxed mm. that he's 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 in this rushing day and he just got so relaxed. So it's up to the individual and it always needs to try what it does with you in the morning, in the evening, in the daytime, and you need to find yourself. So the best way is to try and uh, find the good way. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> There is no such a... Uh, There's no a perfect recipe which works for everyone. So mm -hmm. we need to test it. You need to try it. What kind of person are you? Yeah. And the crystals will work with you in, in that level. Yeah. And do you uh, tell us uh, the benefits of the crystal bed uh, therapy? Yes, it's uh, really, really different by, uh, by everyone. For example, uh, I think... Two years ago, I had a really, really interesting experience. I was in a fair in uh, uh, Vienna, mm -hmm. uh, Austria, and um, a man came up to me and he wanted to try a crystal bed. And it was a very tiny space where we had in this fair and we were uh, close enough to each other. And he was lying on the on the crystal on on the message bed. The crystals were shining on them, on him. And uh, after about 10 or 15 minutes, he said, "What is this scent? I can feel it." And I <laughs> said to him, "Oh, sorry, sir. Maybe I'm too close to you, and you feel my perfume." And he said, "No, no, 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 sir." You don't understand. I can't feel any smells and any scents at all. And I said, wow. So he had some block in his nose or I don't know where. But after 15 minutes, he started to feel uh, uh, the scent. And it was really interesting. Uh, then in Hungary, I had a lady. She was about 70 years old. And during the session, she started to cry. And after the session, I was, I was asking her what happened. And she said, oh, I had a beautiful experience because uh, I just went back in time. I had like a dream. I went back in time uh, when I was a little girl. And uh, my mother always had a conflict with me. She was always stronger and she was always harming me. And now I say to her, stop, you don't, you can't harm me anymore. And she started to cry. So she released the block and she said after the session, now I'm so easy and, and, and like a stone fell out from 
uh, off from my heart are very easy and it's really good to me. Uh, then another experience, it was in London. We were in a tour uh, in, in the United Kingdom with the crystal bed and um, a lady came up and she tried a crystal bed and then she went home. And it was in, in, in the, yeah, I think it was in the downtown of London. Mm -hmm. And then she called me up and she said something very interesting happened to her. When she's going uh, in the underground uh, with the tube, with the metro, she's having like, uh, so she's having anxiety in the underground. And now after the crystal bed session, when she was traveling at, to home, she had a good mood. She was smiling on the people in the underground and she, she yeah. had no signs of anxiety. So this was also a really good experience. So it's, it's really different by, by everyone. So you're, you're right because I have the same experiences with uh, people here and uh, different experiences, different results. And it's very interesting and beautiful to, to see the results of, um, of the therapy. And um, we can't explain each liberation or each um, feelings, but it's like a gift for the people and it's just wonderful. Mm. Yes, uh, my favorite experiences are when, when people find out something in their self. So mm. uh, when they can release a block or, or, or find some new way of thinking or, or, mm. or some old stuff which bothers them and they can release it. Mm. Uh, these things are like when people find a little bit of their higher self, they go a step higher. And, and I think that's the, that's the best thing because, and the crystal bed is, it's some kind of tool which helps them to move a little bit forward. Mm. And, and, and that's a really good thing. Uh, what I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. And um, do you recommend to, um, to practice um, with animals, for example, do you have experiences with uh, dogs yes. or cats? Or? Yes, uh, dogs and cats uh, love it. Uh, I have uh, a couple of clients who <laughs> sent me the photo when they first uh, unpacked the crystal bed and their dog jumped on the bed and lied there. <laughs> I have a photo on, on our Facebook page where the mm. cat is uh, lying like this yeah. uh, on the middle of the crystal bed and just stretching. Uh, so they feel, they really feel this energy and, 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 and they are going there. Uh, also, I have the photo where uh, a man with his dog came to a crystal bed session and, and the man was lying on the bed. And, and the dog went near near to yeah. him and put his head <laughs> on the massage bed and enjoyed the light as well. So they really feel uh, the energy. Even the children, the small children, yeah. uh, I had the experiences of, of uh, like two or three years old children, uh, came near to the crystal bed and they wanted to catch the light Mm. which came out from the crystal. So they have a strange uh, thing, like like they would feel the energy which is coming from the crystal and they want to catch it. Are there contraindications for the practice? For the pregnant yeah. woman, for example? Or? By the pregnant uh, woman, I, I say, uh, uh, well, according to our experiences, it's... Uh, it's very good uh, between the relationship and the, between uh, their relationship with the baby. I say to use it from, from the second trimester to let the first uh, uh, trimester mm. 
when when the baby uh, is starting to developing mm. to to not give an, any extra effort of energies and after that they can use it so it's um it's very pleasant and and good uh, uh feeling for them uh, in the case if somebody is hypersensitive uh for the energies i would be a little bit careful and uh, would use uh even lower program and not 30 minutes just 15 minutes it's, it's really up to the person somebody is hypersensitive and uh and can have a headache uh -huh. so in this case you need to lower the program and lower the the time of the session uh, do you give a formation for users Yes, uh, basically if somebody is uh, buying a crystal bed, I'm giving a, a one hour training to them where I explain how to use it and uh, how to get out the maximum of the crystal bed session, uh, how to set correctly the programs, all this is covered in the price mm -hmm. and um, and yes, and after that I'm also uh, open so they can communicate with me uh, with emails if they have some extra questions or if they do not understand something. Mm. But uh, in the world now, it's lots of people who use crystal beds and everybody is having a little bit different and uh, some kind of very individual, special relationship with their own crystal bed. Mm. That's very interesting. And uh, do you... Um... Uh. Not nowadays with uh, COVID, but uh, in the past, uh, did you um, made uh, international um, uh, sessions with uh, a lot of people or conferences? Um? Yes, uh, we did. I think a few years, yes, few years ago, we did one big uh, uh, conference in Budapest in Hungary. Mm -hmm. And we had, uh, I think, 80 people were there. Everybody was trying out the crystal bed. We have a blog in our on our web page. Uh, I think it's called "What Will I Feel the First Time of Crystal Bed?" And these people uh, just write their first impressions after the crystal bed session. What did they feel? How was it? And it was very interesting with so many people, uh, uh, so many different uh, experiences. Uh, since that, we we haven't done so big, but uh, hopefully in the in the future after uh, in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, yes. <laughs> Why not? Why not? After COVID, I'm open to everything. So. Uh, I hope this uh, this thing this COVID times will pass soon and mm. we will wake up to a brand new world even better than yeah. it was. Do you know scientific people who are very interested by your practice? Uh, yes, there are a few a few people uh, covered by science or, or or more scientific who who. Uh, interest and uh, who doing very similar uh, things mm -hmm. and who do uh, some kind of measurements uh, with with all kinds of uh, these devices i met with them and uh, i also had uh, some clients who, who were testing the crystal bed like uh, they borrowed it from someone for two weeks and the whole family was testing the crystal bed and they went uh, to uh, to a full body scan uh, energetic level mapping uh, before the session starts and after two okay. weeks of crystal bed using they went to this and and their all their energetic level of the organs and uh, and, and the body was at uh, 98 and 99 percentage Mm. And that's how they decided to purchase a crystal bed. And do you have a project in the future? Uh, new instruments, for example, or more sacred geometry? Yes. Uh, <laughs> until today, I didn't uh, discover any more sacred geometry. <laughs> uh, 
than the uh, than the right. flower of the life. I think it's one of the most sacred geometries. Uh, but yes, uh, we are planning. Um, we are planning a small device which can be in your pocket in, in, or in your handbag mm -hmm. and uh, it will be available in all the chakra colors so you can choose one of mm. the, what you need uh, or you can choose just the white one which is a universal mm. and um, you can just uh, take down the, take out the, the top and turn it on and you can use it uh, anywhere for meditation for for chakra work for any, anything what you like i think this will be available this year until uh, summer and uh, then we are planning some uh, more complex crystal bed when the lights are turning mm -hmm. uh, but this is uh, until today it's just plans on the paper uh, i hope in the upcoming years it will be uh, also uh, born into this world so we will make the first prototype and then then start the production as well mm. okay and um, <laughs> i have a curious uh, question but uh, is it possible to buy a crystal bed around the world, for example, in Japan or in the United, uh, United States? <laughs> yes, uh, there is. Uh, mm, we have now we have uh, crystal beds in, in all over the world in in all the continents. So it's possible to to order from anywhere and, and we ship it worldwide. Mm. If you want to share with us uh, another subject of about your uh, experiences or about the crystal bed or others, I don't know. Yes, yeah, I, I would. I would. Uh, I think I was speaking quite a lot, but uh, I would uh, share. If I send you some, we have some new blogs on our website. Mm -hmm. Uh, two very important blocks. One is how to get out the maximum of the crystal bed session. Mm -hmm. um, this, this is the first one. And the second one is how to, uh, um, how, how is the crystal bed working actually? So these two blocks are very important to, to understand deeper the crystal bed. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would send them to you and uh, you, you can make it available in the link below the video. Yeah. Yeah. So the people can read more about these mm, yeah. useful informations. You're right. <laughs> so um, for me, it's um, the, f the, f the end of the, the interview. Um, I'm going to speak in English and French to, to close uh, this interview. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so thank, you. thank you for having me here. And it was a, was a pleasure to, to have this interview for, with you. Mm. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. And um, like you said, uh, you can um, find... Uh, Uh, below the vi the videos, the links to the Chakri's uh, in uh, website and the different uh, blogs and uh, for information. Um, I truly want to thank you, Leslie. Uh, thank you. And uh, it's a real pleasure to to make this interview today after two years with the crystal bed <laughs> and um, it, it was very important for me to make uh, this uh, video to present your activities uh, the crystal bed that it's for me um, an important uh, therapy for the future so in France French sorry Um, je voudrais remercier toutes celles et ceux qui nous ont écoutés aujourd'hui pour cette vidéo en anglais euh, avec Leslie qui nous a présenté vraiment euh, 
le concept de la chromothérapie euh, avec le lit en, en cristal, avec les différents programmes qui existent. Vous trouverez sous la vidéo euh, les liens permettant d'accéder au site internet si vous souhaitez acheter euh, ou lire les différents blogs qui existent, euh, qu'ils ont mis sur leur site internet. Voilà, en tout cas, je tenais à vous tous vous remercier et encore euh, au plaisir de nous retrouver pour d'autres vidéos par la suite. So, thank you, Leslie. And, uh, thank you very much. And bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> See you uh, bye -bye. for another interview. <laughs> I'm helpless when I'm holding you away